So, on today's part two of the worst mainstream media takes, we've got Sky News. They're talking about how we need to eat bugs, uh, you know, because the mainstream media is unbiased, right? You know, the BBC, Sky News, they're, they're in the middle. They don't try and have too much of a bias. So, what they do is they, they tell us to eat bugs. Anyways, so the title is called, Disgust Factor Must Be Overcome If Planet Friendly Insect Food Is to Become Mainstream. Only 13% of the 603, 603 people questioned said they would be willing to regularly eat insect snacks. Many expected it to look unappealing and taste bad. Well, that's worrying. 13% is quite a lot. You get 10 people in a room. One of them said they would eat a bug. These people are getting too brainwashed. It's concerning. The disgust factor must be overcome if insect-based foods are to become mainstream, according to a study. Because studies are really good. And trustworthy. You know, like when they said, like when the study said that the COVID vaccine was safe. That was, you can trust that. Insects can be high in protein, and making them more acceptable could help cut the green, the high greenhouse gas emissions that come from farming cattle. This is a really good way to get young men my age to get to eat bugs. Just tell them it's really high in protein, because people don't listen. People my age will lift weights, and they'll think as long as you just eat. As long as you just drink protein shakes and have protein bars with a hundred different ingredients and additives, it's healthy because it's high in protein. So this might be the this this might be the new coercive tactic because they're master manipulators. They're great at coercing people, finding what they like. You know, during the the COVID rollout, they sat there and say, okay, what do people like? Burgers, McDonald's. So they offered them a free burger to go and uh, get their get their vaccine, and many people took it for some reason. You know that one video of the guy eating fries. Mmm, <laughs> vaccine tastes good. Atrocious. Oh, so apparently there's there's high greenhouse gas emissions that come from farming cattle. So Sky News are totally oblivious to the oblivious to the the carbon cycle with you know methane in the grass. The cows eat it, fart it out back in the atmosphere, back down in the grass. Totally natural. Because I mean, why else would why did Earth have natural cycles to help the Earth? you know do things to help the earth function there's going to be natural cycles in this planet just like you have photosynthesis to keep everything going there's going to be natural cycles there but they just outright deny its existence hundreds of millions of people in is this it oh there there are also potential benefits for cutting obesity and researchers say the idea of farming insects is gaining more attention that sentence is very very interesting it, it might help cut obesity and all I can think of is, is like sitting there and saying, it's like saying benefits of the Holocaust. One benefit of the Holocaust is that it reduced obesity rates by 100%. It's like, well, yeah, but it doesn't mean it's good for the people. They're starving. So, yeah, malnourished people lose weight. Thanks for that. Uh, I'd, I don't, I'd rather be fat than, you know, anorexic and malnourished and probably poisoned from the chemicals in the, the insects, because they're not supposed to eat insects. Uh, birds are supposed to eat insects. Rodents, maybe. Uh, you know, birds are supposed to be going around there eating the worms and like spiders eating flies and stuff like that. That's who's supposed to eat insects, not human beings. Look how big we are, right? We're not supposed to be eating that insects. Uh, hundreds of millions of people in Asia, Africa, and Latin America are estimated to already eat insects to some degree. So uncivilized countries who uh, chop each other's heads off. Well, okay, so Asia... So, wait a minute. So, if they're eating insects, it's okay. So when Chinese people eat dogs, the mainstream media, or not pe most people, will sit there and go, oh, that's weird. These, huh, these Chinese people eat dogs and cats? Disgusting. But the second they eat insects, you're, like, praising them. Like, oh, well done, you're eating insects. Good for the planet. Uh, 100 million in Africa. So, you know, people that chop their head off, each other's heads off. Instead of becoming civilized and building society, uh, they eat insects. Uh, Latin America. It's Latin America. They're poor, so they got to eat insects. They got no other food. So what do you what do you expect? Uh, there are hopes that Western attitudes could shift over time, perhaps in a similar way that food has, such as sushi, has become mainstream. See, there's a big difference between sushi and normal food, and insects. I mean, well, sushi also sucks. Grown men don't eat sushi. Even just the way it sounds, come on. Sushi. What? You know, but it's like insects. It's 
So one's like rice and fish. One's just bugs. Big difference. Massive difference. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, it's this whole idea of degrowth. This is what communists always talk about. They talk about we need to revert back to like pre-industrial times to become sustainable. And I don't understand it. They, they just hate having civilized society which do normal things and have grown like the way the reason we are the way we are now is because we were eating meat in a plane now they're trying to take us back to like poor people so imagine because this is what they're saying here hundreds of millions of people in asia africa and latin america these places are known for having some of the least developed third world countries on the planet and they're saying they eat bugs and they're hoping that western countries like in the anglosphere in europe countries that have more money have a happier happier healthier society uh, more civilized people, they don't eat the stuff that the third world countries eat, but we should. So we should just revert back to being in Africa. We should just start acting like Africans. We should just start being like, you know, uh, India and all these Asian countries. We should just go back to being them. But if you look at these countries, look at all the statistics. They're horrible places to live. We don't want to be like them. So we don't want to emulate anything we're doing. We do not want to make their what they do mainstream because what they're doing is clearly wrong. Uh, insects are a potentially rich source of protein and micronutrients that could help provide a s solution to the double burden of obesity and undernutrition. Bugs aren't going to are, are not going to nourish us at all. Micro micronutrients. It's like, <sighs> look, bugs have been studied. That was we're obviously not meant to digest them. Horrible for a di for a digestive system. I don't have a study to back this up, by the way. I'm just assuming, because we're we're just not supposed to eat bugs. That's just a fact. Uh, they're also proven to like make humans infertile, so maybe that's why they're pushing depopulation. Um, some insect proteins, such as ground crickets, oh, love me a cricket, or freeze-dried mealworms, are cheaper and easier to farm, often lower, lower in fat, and have a lower environmental impact than traditional livestock. So they're lower in fat, so they're better. Because, so we're talking about how micronutrients are so good. Just one paragraph ago. Micronutrients are great, but a whole entire macronutrient, fat, is unhealthy. Avoid that at all costs, because fat is really bad for you. Because they're saying meats, but th this is the reason. The reason they attack fat is because, name something high in fat. Meat, cheese, other forms of dairy, butter, all high in fat. And they're also animal meats. So they can say, meat is bad for not just the planet. Maybe you don't care about the planet. Maybe you're selfish and ecocidal. But even if you do care about, even if you don't care about that, and you care about yourself, well, it's also bad for you. Don't eat meat, and that's going to be the justification so that people do not fight back against them trying to control the the food supply and take down the farmers and all this stuff. However, most people are still very reluctant due to preconceptions over taste and appearance. Preconceptions are often right. I really doubt bugs would taste good, and it's not because I am an ignorant person who hates the environment and I'm just so disobedient, which I am. And all this stuff, my human instinct. Because let's be honest, when, when they're when they're saying that only thirteen percent of people were open to the idea of eating bugs, the other eighty-seven percent haven't been listening on the internet to people saying, "Oh, Bill Gates is trying to make us eat bugs." They're just going off of basic human instinct. Nobody told them don't eat bugs. They've just they've not been told it's good. They've not been told it's bad. So all we're seeing here is the human instinct. And everything, everything these, you know, progressives and liberals and climate cultists and communists push is against our instincts. They're always trying to push barriers that instinctually we know these things are wrong. We know we're not supposed to eat these. The reason that other countries eat these is because it's been ingrained in their culture for thousands of years. Their instinct is to eat whatever they can get their hands on. Grub, you know, bugs and all this stuff. Uh, but the study also found they were significantly more likely to give insects a go if they were ground into a powder. Things I still wouldn't want to eat insects, like, if they're ground into a powder. We shouldn't have to grind something into a powder and get people to eat it. Normal food. P people just eat normal food without thinking about it. For, think about just normal meat. A steak. You don't have to sit and tell 87% of the population, uh, we'll ground it into a powder so it's good enough. We'll just eat it because it's normal food. Brain, brain sees steak, brain sees food, brain gets hungry. Eat. People see bugs and go, oh, you know, I'll, I'll flush that down my toilet. I'll put it in the dustpan, throw it away, out the window. Because it's not food. I don't get, like, if you saw, if you saw a steak, you opened your, your fridge. There's a steak there. 
you're going to go and cook the, the steak. If you open the fridge and there's bugs crawling around, <laughs> when you open your cupboard, there's like a million bugs. You're calling pest control. It's a big difference. You don't see oom food. Uh, this has been this has been done successfully with rice products fortified with cricket or locust flowers in other parts of the world. Only thirty percent. Uh, some forty seven percent said they wouldn't eat it regularly. Forty percent were unsure. More than eighty two percent of people expected insect food to be crunchy. Because that's just true. Crickets are cr- sixty four point six percent salty. Why are we saying what? What relevance does this have? See, this this film means you mean when when they're not lying, they're just being outright stupid. The, why are they giving them me st- st- statistics on what people thought they would taste like? Eighty two percent of people thought that lemon would taste bitter. Cool. It, it doesn't. I don't care. Uh. Younger people also appeared more squeamish. And each year, young and each year younger was associated with a two percent increase. Say no to the idea. Yes, yes. Ah! The youth, Gen Z, are getting it. We know Bill Gates is trying to push depopulation and agenda, and give us bugs because they make us infertile. The young generation knows. Everybody's saying Gen Z are woke, but the oldies are actually more excited to eat bugs than we are. So that actually gave me a, a lot of hope, but with my generation. We aren't eating these bugs. We're eating meat. Oh, this is one thing. I really like these fitness influencers, by the way. There's this one guy on, like, Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Everyone was talking about him. And he's, like, calling out all these foods. He's like, eat real food. Eat, eat meat and all this stuff. And I'm like, this guy might not know about the whole farming stuff and how they try to get rid of the farmers. But I was like, this guy's. I think it's, it's important to just keep normalizing the normal. Just keep pushing. It's very simple. Because these communists, they, they infiltrate certain movements. For Here's one actual example. Uh, gaming has, has actually changed a lot in the last 10 years. I haven't experienced this change firsthand, but I've heard people that have 5, 10 years older. It used to be actually this very anti-woke thing. It'd be these you know teenagers that would be getting all their rage out and like screaming slurs on the internet. Now it's like been, it's been liberalified. I, if, you, if you look at these streaming platforms, you look at these games... They're all a bunch of transgenders and gays. It's it's disgusting. You cannot enjoy these games anymore. Uh, total. So this is what the communists did. They infiltrated these uh, like sectors in a sense. We we could do it as well. I totally see myself. Okay. I'm not trying to get exposed for doing a conspiracy in the future on my plan to world domination and hypothetically trying to infiltrate certain industries and sectors like the you know recipe making the 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 cooking industry and like getting them to keep pushing meat recipes wouldn't do that definitely wouldn't do that Uh, after all there uh, the disgust factor is one of the most important challenges to be overcome after all there may be eventually no choice with climate change and projected and projected global population growth so we're gonna really need to overcome this di- this disgust fact. We need to overcome, reject our natural instincts because there's gonna be no choice. Climate change is gonna destroy the planet because they said that 30 years ago. It didn't happen now, but when they say it today, trust them because they've always been right. Forget me a million times they were wrong. They're they're right all the time, 100% foolproof track record. I know we're all supposed to be underwater right now and we're not. Forget they said that. 10 more years, 5 more years. Climate change is going to be no... And projected global population growth. There's going to be too many humans on the planet. We're going to need to overcome this disgust factor, eat bugs, so we all become chemically sterilized, or just sterilized, and cannot have children so we can lower population. We're openly talking about how the population is too high, and that by the population increasing, there's too many you know people on the planet. So resourceful, these evil capitalists are so resourceful, keep eating so much meat. They keep wanting food in their plate. We need to reduce the population. We need to... Make everybody infertile. And that's the ultimate goal. And they've really summed up in the end. That's the last uh, That's the last sentence. Yeah, it's the last sentence in the article. Because just to sum everything up, by the way, we want to kill you all. We want to sterilize you all. We hate you. We hate every single one of you. Because we're the mainstream media and we have an agenda to push. <sighs> that's mainstream media, worst takes, part two. 
hope to see you sometime soon for uh, part three. Actually, just just a note here. If you if you see any articles that read that suck as much as this one did, uh, send me a message. I might I might read it out because I don't always see them promoted on my like uh, X timeline. So if you see any terrible articles, send me it. I might do a video about one. See ya, Fogmore. Long live freedom.